Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of my let's play of Hand of Fate. This time we'll be taking on the King of Dust. Now we play. Now we do play. We are let's playing, in fact. Now access but on this mode. If you wish to test your skills. Oh, interesting. So I guess that's the, uh, you have enough cards now? Also, if you hear a weird, oh, my girlfriend has a chinchilla and, you know, he's beside my desk. He just likes to hang out, you know. Five times six of dust. Holy shit. And four ambushes. And curses, compensation. Whenever the player finishes the combat, they lose one gold for 15 health. Some men thrive Holy shit. in anarchy and chaos. The King of Dust is one such. His tools are cruelty and terror, and I suspect he will harbor a great hatred for you, my friend. Thanks. Okay. This thing is kind of bullshit with what they decide to give you when you, um, auto-select. So I said Maze Some of Traps. Some cards are locked and cannot be removed yeah, from I, your I deck. Didn't mean to do that. I was really pissed off at Maze of Traps. I, did, I don't need River anymore because I got the token. Um, and I hated poppies because it messed up the map. I don't know if there's, I don't remember if that was a success or a failure or if that's just how it happened, but that really sucked. Dead Man's Gorge gave me a lot of help last time because it gave me, like, I got it twice in a row and I got a bunch of my gear from it. So I want to keep that. Dead King's Halls, I think that was just a big encounter. Ambush, a winding trail, that's fine. But Calling the Ratman, Desert Storm, Charity, Devil's Wager I want it, because those are all tokens I haven't unlocked yet. So I need to take something out. I want to keep all the token ones for getting new rewards. Um, I'll probably just get rid of Ambush again, like I've been doing, because... Actually, you know what, let's get rid of Devil's Choice. Because I remember that's just a combat thing with a Devil there. But I, get, I think I got a reward, right? Combat gold, food, max health, equipment health, map reveal. So that can be useful. Whereas ambush is combat gold, food, health, equipment, map. Okay, it's the same kind of thing. So let's leave that uh, ambush in, so I'm always taking it out. So that's good. And now we want to go into equipment. We have all my super awesome weapons, some shields. Armor of Cold Berserker, all my special armor, some medium armors now, because I do start with light, so you know, having medium in there's good. All of my helmets, my gloves, my couple of things there, and some rings. So the Ring of Survival was new, so I, don't, I can't understand what that, I can't look up what that does yet. But I am excited about it, I was going to put it in if it wasn't in. And Time Heals, they took that one out last time, but... I was taking a lot of damage, so I'm getting rid of this Helm of Reflection that I never use and put in Time Heals instead. That seems like a good, a good go of it. Alright, so let's take on the King of Dust. In Got some these ice lands, water. The King of Dust takes his Refreshing. time. Oh, right. I should put some ambushes in, because I never do that. I forgot the game was putting in, like, nine of them. Great. Man, I wish actually, like, shuffling a card even was like that. I think a lot more people would be into poker. Or, like, you know, President or Jackass, or if you want to call it. Cheap. Remember, those are all, like, games I used to play in, like, High school, you face the first of my kings. Each has shaped the nature of their forces with the strength of their will. They will turn that power to your destruction. Interesting. So there's plague, uh, dust, and skull, I believe. So that's and there's three of each. So there must be a fourth one because there are twelve levels. All right. So let's try. Let's go here first. Cave mouth. Is that the exit? Uh, the next step of your journey takes you from a cave out of the face to an opposing forest. Let's turn back. Because I want to get some good gear before, you know, I go on to do things. Oh, yeah, see Twisted Canyon. Perfect. I want to get rid of my crappy axe to get one of my decent weapons. This is like, I love this garden. Because even if you fail, you still get a decent weapon out of it. I guess that's the point of only putting really good weapons in your thing. When you get an equipment thing that's find a weapon, you're bound to get a really good one. Like huge hammer. I don't know how many skulls I'll be fighting, but it's Are definitely sure that's it's 10 right damage approach. is way better. I'm losing a lot of food doing this, but I definitely want to explore these little areas. Encumbrant hero. A quest that may or lead Embertown you down here, many paths. 
towards jealously guarded secrets. Interesting. So this might be a start to a chain thing. You come across an injured adventurer whose battered and bloodied armor tells you he's been in com he's seen combat recently. I almost said been in. Ask him about his troubles. I have been chasing a pack of thieves that attacked my home village of Embertown. I killed some of them in an ambush, but I fear I lack the strength to chase the rest down. If you have any honor, you'll find these jackals and make them pay. So, uh, that's weird. Another Embertown hero? So do I have a choice? Oh, okay, I have to go there to track them down. They put it on top of another card. Well, I might as well. Continue this quest. Let's find out what type of character you really are. Whenever there's like a moral choice in game, I always like to play like the hero, because you know, that's kind of the point of a game, right? You can be the hero, you can be the good guy, you can do these all these awesome, spectacular things and help people. I guess there's something to be said about really kind of creepy vengeance fantasy stuff when you want to be evil, but I'm definitely not all about that. If you are, there's kind of nothing wrong with it, there kind of is, you know, it's a little creepy, but you know, everyone does their own thing. But anyway, back to the game at hand. Get it? Game at hand? Hit a fate? I'm fucking great. You have caught up with the Embertown Village Raiders who call it Stay Your Hand Adventure and we will share the spoils with you. I can just kill them and take it. Not that that's what I'm doing, I'm doing it, you know, morally, but you can always rob corpses. You refuse to deal with them, the thieving scum. You tell them to ask their gods for more mercy than you are about to show them. The dealer draws one monster card. A two of dust. You, they move in for the kill. So these are the same level of people I was fighting before. Interesting. I, found, I thought I said I found them like a kill. Maybe I was... Maybe I read that wrong. Oh man, that attack sucks. I think I have to stun people first. Let's stun. Alright, never mind. I was going to try and stun him and then do that awesome power attack. So whenever I try to do it, I just get hit. Gold minus seven. I guess that's for getting hit. Great, thanks, Aim. Uh, you carefully turn up these pockets. Dealer draws three game cards. Uh, it's definitely worth the gold. Any food in there? Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Afterwards, you return to the hero of Embertown. If you're success, you just refuse to come closer. In silence, he hands you a jeweled ring, then dies. You put the ring away to identify later and bury the fallen champion. The card's still Your prize. Yours. Okay, so yeah, it does continue like that. All right, let's get out of here, because I guess that replaced the other thing. And hopefully on this next, uh, this next section here, we'll be able to give that ring to someone. Hopefully that dude wasn't, like, the actual thief or something. Do you how this game works now? Do you comprehend the stakes? I don't, really. Traveling merchant. Excellent. Or traveling healer. Maybe I'll, be, maybe I'll have enough money to reveal my curse. Remove my curse, not reveal it. I'm already well aware of what it is. But this is the first time I've actually had a decent amount of money. But I could want to save it to buy healing later. But then there's the fact that my current curse, I have 200. Holy shit. My current curse gets rid of gold, right? So, I mean, kind of, that really blows. It's going to be really hard to save money doing it like that. But I will spend it on five food because I did waste a lot of my food last time. Yes, I will the shop. I did waste a lot of my food last time, kind of um, doing that weird map layout they had. And in case I'm running, I don't think there were any mob, any, any angry mob uh, encounters in this one. But in case Bandits there were, I thought I was going to extra food. To their king. They will not let you reach him easily. These dust ones have been pretty easy so far. I mean, I'm only on the second floor and everything, but the kind of encounters I've been having with them, just, you know, kill three guys or whatever. I mean, this is definitely probably going to be the first uh, game I've finished for this channel because I don't know, a lot of the other games I've been playing things I've played before and I wasn't really enjoying but this is something brand new and kind of exciting which really makes it a lot more exciting to let's play I might I might do some um, grand strategy stuff like, or maybe not grand strategy but 4x games like Gal Civ or uh, Civilization I didn't get hit, how did I lose 7 gold? that's bullshit but I might do some of that stuff later, because, you know, you can kind of... Shit. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize there, that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. I think I hit sneak up and kill them on accident. I think the last time I had that, I said leave them. 
Um, a quick weapon blow to the head fixes that before you finish searching the area. You get three cards. Oh, interesting. So last time I just kept to leave because they didn't want to get another combat. But this time I killed him, and that way I get three gain cards. Well, that's well worth it. I should have done that last time. But yeah, I was getting too caught up in talking about, like, my channel that I, I fucked up and I didn't take the... I didn't look at the options before I clicked. So I don't want desperate measures. And... I want... Because I, I have a better weapon than that. I can't remember what this does. Can I get information on this? It doesn't look like I can. Let's grab it for ourselves then. After every third combat, the player receives 20 health. That is amazing. I'm pumped about that. I'm a big fan of that weapon. Or that uh, equipment. That's going in a lot of my decks from now on. Mr. Lionel! I have a shield though, so I don't know. Um, while it's enjoying your evening meal at a local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's design. Blah, blah, blah. We've done this before. Given the bread for my plate, that's just a little bit of food. I definitely want to keep my money more than that. Did he move me back a square? Fuck. Okay. I'm dumb. I'm like, okay, I read this all before, but it seems the outcome's been changing. As opposed to the, um, what's been, if what's been before, I always get a shield. But uh, let's Roaming just leave this area. ever forward, hunting for the truth. Alright, let's hop, take the forest path out of here. I'm glad I bought that food then, because I did what spend a little time to play that game? bullshit. Ha, I know you Maybe will, will not tell me. me. Like all the rest, you I are safe, boys. I sleep in the inn. Awesome. This is the ghost one again. Hopefully, you know, not attacking her works out well this time. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. While sleeping in an inn, you're told to wake to find a bandit rifling through your belongings. You're quick to your feet, weapon in hand. The bandit last gleam says, easy there, princess. Spare an, a spare an apple, would you? There's, there's a good lad. He stands unsteadily, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. You grab his arm in, pro in protest and earn a punch to the face. Looks like Nanza here wants to fight. The bandit laughs again, spits at your feet, and then turns to leave. I'm gonna lower my weapon, because I worked out last time. The bandit looks at you with contempt. Thought so. He wanders out of the room, whistling to himself. Dealer draws two pain cards. Fuck. 30% gold lost. That's bullshit. And, okay, the food. I'm not too worried about that. Shaking your head with what you're wearing to back to your bed and find yourself once again in the presence of the ghost in the forest. Its eyes so familiar, so real compared to the shifting body. Smile into yours. Something stirs in your mind. The past memory? You're still yourself. I need fear no longer. Its pale hands reach for yours and suddenly you call a laugh. A laugh to go with those smiling eyes. I have lingered too long in this place. It drains so. Do not forget me. You blink and the ghost is gone. Those eyes gone. The card's token is now yours. Okay, so not fighting was the the token thing to do, to get the token. So I'm happy with that choice, despite the loss I've suffered there. Like, obviously I could have, it probably would have been something Descend stupid, like, ever deeper he'll draw a monster card and take a dust. Pit. And I would have fought him, I would have maybe got my stuff back, but I'm much happier completing that quest chain. This sounds like it's going to be really interesting. Dead Man's Gourds I'm actually happy about. So while crossing the ancient rope bridge of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. Draw two monster cards. Ooh, interesting skulls. So it's not always going to be like everything. It's not always going to be dust related, which I'm okay with. In fact, I rather I like fighting skeletons because I have a lot of holy weapons. I do not, however, like fighting rats. You. Rat bastards. Oh, I hate you so much. I'm gonna shove this entire mace, like, I don't wanna say it's your ass, but I'm seeing a lot of, oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm seeing a lot of ass related things in combat, and it's very homoerotic. Like, I don't know if that's the direction I wanna take this channel. Let's just, like, say I'm gonna crush your ribs or something. Just needlessly violent like that. God, okay, I didn't lose that much money, but I did lose a lot of health. Hopefully I'll gain that back with some... I'll get three gain cards, yeah. Five max health, that's pretty good. Equipment, I'm sure you're grateful for that. I already have a shield, so that's fine. I can sell it probably. And food, that's okay. 
Let's do this one too. And it's just an ambush. You may have to contend with every bandit in the kingdom before you reach the king. You say that, but I haven't been fighting bandits. I've been fighting skellymans. One, two, three, four. So I guess they have 70 health. Maybe 69. But um, something like that, because it's just 35 a swing. They each die in two hits. I'm losing a lot of money fighting these things, though. Because of that stupid card I have there. Okay, sneaking up and killing them gives me that advantage. So I'm going to do that like I, I should have last time. I suppose there's a chance of failure. I'll probably take a pain card. A choice. Select your desire. Yeah, so I sneak up and kill him. Sneak up and kill him, a quick weapon low fit. The head fixes that. Then you finish searching the area, you get three gain cards. Equipment, helmet maybe? That'd be really good. Ooh, why am I lagging so bad? My frame's dropping out of control here. Scorching zeal, interesting. Fire, in its multitudinous forms, we still hold it in esteem and wonder. Equipments with this trait burn with the flame of the ancients, doing extra fire damage, however, Lava golems will shrug off fire attacks with ease. I think I'm a little early for lava golems, but I'm interested in the fire and holy mechanic. So I, this does, I think, three damage left, but I really want to try it out. I want to try the fire on everything. That seems really useful and really cool. That's a big factor. All right, so I'm giving a little bit of money. I'm nowhere near the 200 I want. All right, let's hop on out of here. It's good. Actually, that might be a strategy. If you have a lot of food, you can just hop back and forth to get your health back. I also think that's been really cool about this kind of setup is they've all been a lot of really small floors with a lot of multiple choices. No. Not just like a lot of really long corridors. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. That's pretty My good. My powers are genuine. Oh, I was hoping he was just like gonna make a joke that he uh, he doesn't lie or something like that, or he doesn't believe his own lies. The, the mage very tower. apotheosis of intellect, magicians. I cannot fault your choice, though I wonder how you will fare against such tactics. All right, you're done now. Mage's tower. The mages of Koron are the last human magic users. They are worshipped and feared in equal measure. They hid away in their towers, which they build ever upward to grow closer to the gods they hope to usurp. That's really cool. There's a token in it for you if you win. Hopefully you're not fire magic or something like that. Let's enter the tower. It's kind of like that. I remember I read it in like, I don't know, maybe 10th grade or something like that. You get Dragonlance series where one of the, I think it was Rastlin was his name. He ends up like killing a god. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. As soon as your hand touches the cold iron doors, the mages are alerted to your presence. Interesting. It's not like draw an attack card or anything. It's it's kind of a set encounter. Two of mages. Oh, that's a really cool mechanic. Okay, I can't take this dude. And he's got like a little spell book and like a little reader thing there. Also, correct me if I'm, ooh, crap. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this does not look like two. Also, does it? Holy crap! Am I taking continuous damage? Maybe? No. Oh, yeah, I am. These things do damage over time. So that took a lot of health. Those are tough guys. But this might be my third encounter, so I'll get 20 health back. Possibly. You've made an enemy of the Mage's Guild. This card token is now yours. That doesn't sound like a good thing that I, I do there. I don't think the Mages will forgive your transgressions there. I'm kind of with you on that one. You know what, actually, let's do this. And then do this. This way we can get health back and go to continue. Oh, that's hit your right. Are you shitting me? A horse is a fine companion. No, I don't want to leave this I'm area I'm sure you'll yet. leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Yeah, I get it. Win this and claim my token. Please, can I give you money instead of my food? I found a priest running boats. He begs you to feed the orphans. The gods show favor to those who help the less fortunate. Give food to the priest. It's a worthy decision, the priest exclaims. Let's give him ten food. The priest humbly accepts your persistence. Let me 
Let me see if I have anything of which I can reward you such generosity. I wonder if the amount of successes you get is based on the amount of food you give. I was hoping for like a huge success. That's why I gave him almost all of my food. So I get a blessing card. Retribution. Whenever the player Very struck nice by a range attack, indeed. there's a chance the attacker will be stunned for three seconds. That is amazing. Here is your token. Well done. A token and that buff. This tale begins, That's worth it. And then proceeds relentlessly. Oh, With each shit. step, you will discover a new card and a Six. deeper mystery. Holy shit. This is bad. This is bad. Actually, I, get, I guess I did eight before. But what I'm really worried about is I don't have any food. Also, I just got that uh, little boot I had there, so, you know. Take that unavoidable attack. You know, I could have countered that. Bad accounting is rat bastard. Because sometimes they unavoidable me. That's some cool new lingo there. They unavoidable me. Just a great sense all around. You bitch. Alright, he's done. I keep calling them all bastards. I figured it was fair to call one of them a bitch, you know. Feminism and all that. It's not what feminism is, but. The dealer draws you one food gain card. Cool. Actually, wait, that's really cool. I don't know why I was so blase about that. Call for the priests. So this is another shop. Awesome. So, I don't know, I think I'll get food over healing. Because there's definitely no way I'll have enough for, uh... For to get my, uh, curse removed. So let's buy... Buy food. That brings me up to ten. You know what? I don't need to heal. Let's get the food instead. Because I'll heal when I, I'm gonna have to do a couple more steps, and I'll probably won't get attacked by a bunch more ratmen before then. Also, I need to make sure I do every square in case they have the, um, that Hungry ember town mouths. thing. War leaves nothing else. Let me guess, you want more, want more of my food? A Everyone challenge wants my fucking food. And a token if you succeed. Well, crossing a forest clearing. You mean a peasant woman. Hello, peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind your, her, you see the shit. Does you sense movement? In exchange for food, I will tell you everything I know about these lands. I'll give her two food. The woman takes your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard recently. So I think that was a map reveal thing, but um, I already have the whole map reveal, that's why I only give her two food. So let's get out of here. I'm back at full health. It's better than trudging along again. a muddy road. Certainly. All right, let's hit right out of here. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring of power, I guess. the retaining of power, and most the important, jack of dust. The Interesting. Use of power. I didn't realize that was getting put in the deck. I wonder. Oh, that's it. so like the jack of dust is just gonna become like a like a thing I have to do from now on, like. Will that be just a random encounter for me later? I'm surprised they don't have a uh, artifact yet. Why are you like sparkly, man? That one would be good. I think I only took a couple hits. That's really cool. That was really cool, actually. I didn't think this game had the capacity for anything like that. I'm out of gold, which is sucky. But I did get 15 health back, so I guess I don't really need it. And let's continue on our merry way. Traveling Tinkerer. Um, let's pass it by. I don't have any money. So there's no point in doing that. Another Traveling Mage. Once again, I have no money. So there's no point in doing this. There's a forest escape. An expedition. Press on. Oh, I don't know if I should do. I want to explore the other areas in case I found that Ember Town thing. God, this is a bad idea. Okay, I should get three Again, gain cards out the of this. Surprise attack. The novelty must Holy shit! Subsequent travels. 
Maybe I won't get anything out of this because no we'll be dead. King falls without a challenge. This is intense, man. I really am digging that attack. Oh, that red sp the thing I called spark is definitely the uh I'm doing a lot of countering here. These guys are a lot easier to counter than the Ratman, actually. This oh shit. I was doing so good. I think that was worth taking that hit though. Possibly. Okay, I got that. Man, I'm doing pretty good at these dodges. I say as I get hit. You know what? I feel okay about this. I always admire a man who can turn an enemy's force against them. I guess he's saying that because I fucking killed him with his own arrow like three times. You know, I'm okay with that. That was not bad. All right, so I should get the thing where there's someone still alive. Hopefully I don't get a failure and have to fight 20 more guys. I know it's 12, but you know, 12 can feel like a lot. Ooh, it's my first failure. Taken by surprise, you were knocked down to the ground. When you recover, you find yourself alone with the dead. Oh shit, I was hoping to get a gain out of that. Helpful priest. Um, if you're in luck, have any lucky penny. Perhaps it'll bring you greater fortune than it did me. Oh, thank you, priest. No, I... Okay, this is bad. It seems you have made an enemy of the rat men. They do not normally attack unless provoked. Are you kidding me? This was a boss fight last round. Like, this was literally... This is literally, like, a million times harder than my... Than the boss fight that I almost died on. Oh my god, this is it. This is game over. I can't dodge it all. It's too much. Oh my god. This is it. Game over, man. Game over. Because every time I try to like stick around and counter one of these little guys, fucking Papa Bear comes around and just falls me to death. Okay, here we go. Let's get the streak going. I said, let's get the streak going, okay? That does not include getting our asses clawed open. Again with all the ass things, man. I'm really starting to wonder about myself here. No! No! Damn it. I hope I get my 20 health after this. Is he close enough for that? Nope. Please die, sir. Sir. Why do I keep taking it to health? Is that my, like, did I keep it by my own flame thing? Please give me, like, fat stack rewards, like, is 200 health and food. If you travel without food, your strength will not be restored between encounters. Oh, that's all that happens. You will also begin to starve. It okay. seems you'll learn that soon enough. Though. The starving thing was what I was worried about. I was like, if I just don't get food, that's, if I just don't get health, that's no big deal. Well, this is a Work your one. way through the woods and see what lies beyond. All right, this should be the final one because this has been around for on a while. On this floor, the King of Dust waits for you. He is prepared. Are you? Not really, but I'll give it a shot. The deeper you go, the greater the risk of starvation. Okay, three of the goblins. I'm not too worried about this. I'm worried if I get another fucking jack of plagues just up in this bitch. That was like the hardest fight I've had so far. I'm just, yeah, let's give it to him again. Well, he's out of food. So I guess he like took my extra shield or something. Hit him. Hit him again. Again. Who to draw. Get him. Beat him. Beat him up. I'll break all these crates if you need me to. Yeah, get back here. That's what I thought. Give me your money so I can use it to buy food. Please come back, sir. Give me a ham. I don't want to sign, you know, 
our pure genders, these little dudes. Once again, call them little dudes, doing the same thing. This weapon looks really cool. It just looks, it's just a hot rock on a stick, actually. It kind of has the, like, little press kind of spinning thing up there, too. Do I get any, like, boom cards out of that? No? Great. Shop, here we go. I'm gonna spend all my money on health. Alright, heal wounds. And I don't have enough for anything else. That's a shame. Actually, no, because I said things to sell, right? Yeah. Then I can use this money to heal again. More health to work with. Much good made do you. Much good made do you. Oh, made do you, okay. Does it say that sentence? Makes no sense. But really, it was just me that made no sense. Oh, okay. Let's please be up here. Come on. The crucible. That sounds A great. A crucible to heat and purify the flawed metal. I don't think that's what this you, is actually going to be, in though. In this case. The town of Stigel sits upon the one safe crossing of the River Ernest. However, the only adventurers allowed to cross are those who pass through the Crucible. Uh, the Crucible will fight monsters for the entertainment of the townspeople of Stigel. What will you do? I'll fight them, because I think I'm wearing medium armor, and it will be not good. Choose your opponent wisely, the man says from the crowd. I'm betting on you. Okay, I'm not going to pick the Jack of Skulls. Actually... Jack of Skulls might be easier because I have this unholy weapon, but actually no, I'm not going to pick the boss fight. I'll just pick six bandits, which I can probably take pretty easily. Because they're a lot easier to counter than the rest of them. He says as he completely throws the counter things. Flame on! Yeah, that was much easier than the other one would have been, definitely. Minus all my gold. Awesome. Alright, so I gotta cross the bridge now, right? You survive the round. Now do it again. The crowd awaits your decision. Uh, two of dust or four of black? Two of dust. How many times do I have to do this? They're like, well, he took six, so you know what? This time around, let's give him two. I'm sure, he'll have a much harder time with that. And we'll take all this money again. I have all of my gold riding on this one. A random voice yells, don't let me down. Alright, the crown is always go through the final arena. Hmm. I think I'll, oh, wait, do I have to do both? Okay. I mean, that seems fair. Let's see the skulls first, they only take one hit. But I won't stop hitting you please, because I'm having a hell of a time deflecting all of these shots. Flame on! Oh, come on, I'm trying to flame on, man. Don't be like that. I think I managed to get most of the archers. So that's good. Maybe not. Man, I was just trying to hit you before you could get the combo off, but I guess not. Man, that flame thing must do a lot of damage, because without it, that kind of was a lot harder. So I did three in a row, so my ring of survival should get me, or is it just for every, uh, not every fight, but every, every step? Like, each, in, in each individual step-based encounter is a different thing. So I get four gain cards, and I get the token. That's really good. Let I'm sure some of those be food, that. maybe? Oh, they're only gold gain cards. Three gold. Aw, oh, dang. No, let's go down. Ambush, that's fine. 
Every game must include an element of surprise, wouldn't you say? This game is literally Sometimes all surprise. It's a human on the other side of the table. You're not Sometimes human. The draw of a card or the roll of a dice. It's always the draw of a card. The game is nothing but a computer machine. He says as he plays the computer machine. Oh, come on. They're not need to take that damage. Those are some weirdly animated nipples. See, once again, all the gold is going away. Let's sneak up and kill him. Hopefully I won't fuck it up this time. Nope, I fail. Great. Please be the king. Calling of the Ratman. Our lives are often lived thus, are they not? All the lands in the kingdom by the whims of no I'm trying to read this man. power. All the lands in the kingdom are being overrun with rabbit. Merchants from in my land are attacked on the road. They as are any travelers, such as yourself. My guards will needed are, are needed here with me. But if I had fifty gold, I would hire a mercenary to find them. Pay the duke fifty gold. Um, yeah, why not? A wise decision. I shall begin a campaign against these filthy rabbit immediately. Also, you may take this blade. With my mercenary army, I will need to rely on to protect me. This card's token is now yours. Rat Cleaver, 30 damage. Rats have so few me. friends amongst mankind. Yet the two have lived in close proximity throughout the ages and are more similar than either would care to admit. Okay, that rat human comparison's kind of played out. But anyway, I'd knock, I would take this if it was a rat level, but I'm not as pleased as you. Unholy. And the fire seemed to be working really well for me, so I'm not going to take that. Now let's go up. Devil's Carnival. At its heart, these traveling shows are but mockeries of the true mysteries. One day, at the dusk gathers, as the dusk, as the dusk gathers, Jesus Cameron, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you've been wandered as you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored but now are faded and stained with dust peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys past wonders and amazements some almost dazed i'm actually gonna take a quick break here it won't take any time for you to let it out but i'll be right back hey you're back even though that was absolutely no time for you at all but anyway we were at the devil's carnival interesting there's something about this place that dulls your senses, and for a while you forget your quest, you forget even the path that brought you to this place. So this is just a risk. Huge success! That's what I like to hear. Cheers and gas draw you to a large tent. Inside you discover a numerous of spectacles being performed by costume artists. This is... This is crazy. How many do I have to win? I got a success, that's okay. A strong man offers you a magical item as a prize for anyone who can lift it, even half of what he can. Who can, oh sorry, the prize is for anyone that can lift even half of what he can. You take your challenge, and after a brief instant's effort, accept the prize. Medium armor. Middle of have, the road oh, yeah. in every way. Definitely. I have light armor on, that's much better. I didn't get the token. I guess you have to get two huge successes, are you kidding me? A winding trail. Well then. How will you deal with Oh, this? I'm taking damage because I don't have any food. Uh, trees falls in the path blocking the The dealer draws two cards. Weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their wielder says is obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Um, I only have eight gold. So yeah, take it all. Why not? You open your money bags, rinse it, see. That's not enough. Uh, he's holding out on us. One of them yells right before they rush you. Okay, that's interesting. So they kind of scale it like the, um, like the food encounter, I guess. Where it's based on how much you have. You know, like, I fought like 12 of these guys in a row, so if this... Excuse you. It's probably not that big of a deal. Everyone stop, like, trying to shoot you with arrows and shit. Okay, where are you, arrow bastard? Is that you? Do you want to shoot me? Or is it you? Yeah, it's probably this one. Are they all just like throwing knives at me? That's what they're doing. Because one of the uh, things I got before was maybe throwing knives uh, deal more damage. 
But that wasn't too bad. I lost a little bit of health, but that's okay. I'll probably lose more when I take one step without food. Unless these guys are gonna give me some food, that'd be great. One equipment, that's not really what I want. But I guess I don't have a helmet, so I might as well. Five max health. It doesn't really matter because I don't have any health. If it's the one right beside the entrance, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, the King of Dust. Very few are so foolish as to deliver themselves to the King. The King is fierce in battle, but logical in his troops. He can choose to heal them during the combat. The King of Dust broke faith with the King and country long ago, and has made himself rich and powerful through the judicious application of cruelty and terror, outside of the law for decades. We play for a token now. All right, let's go on, King. Oh, that's only one token, really? That's kind of lame, but all right. I don't have all my health. I have no gold. Okay, four of them, that's not bad. This looks like it'll be easier than the last one, but he can heal, so maybe not. All right, let's do this. Man, I'm worried about editing this. Like, I think it was part four or whatever when I did the Queen of Dust. I had like, what is that? Okay. Maybe this is harder than I thought it would be. Okay, so maybe I should just go for him. Because everyone else... I rolled into that! So everyone else is just going to... He's just going to keep killing them. Okay. So, when I'm... Please stop that. I was trying to counter the one attack with his attack. Oh, when he does that, he stays crouched down. So I can... Please run out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way! Bad. Please don't die. Please don't die, Cameron. You can do this, Cameron. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this. Out of the way, out of the way. Okay, now go get him. He's weak. Your foe is weak. Finish him. Come on, Pikachu, you can do this. There you get No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Alright, now take my super attack. Raw. Super attack, super move, go! Out of the way, out of the way! Okay, that only does 10, but I can only take one more of those. So, you know. Okay. I, are you kidding me? Yeah, I didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Oh, oh, yes! I did it! Holy crap, that was so close. These are getting closer and closer. Last time I had 25 left, this one I had 8 left. These are getting intense. Like I said, I was worried about editing. On part four, I had to cut the episode. There are many who will be pee. pleased that you have defeated the likes of my this one I had, I had to talk to someone at the door. As for Aaron. me, I think but, uh, you have but proven that I must defeat you entirely. I think entirely. I'll be able to edit it out. A set of new trinkets for you. You will need them and more. I did get a lot, so let's activate this. For defeating the bandits who looted the Emperor Town, you receive the Ring of Justice. Okay, that's the ring I need to bring to someone. So it isn't just like... That's a shame. I thought it would be something cooler than that. For encountering the ghost again, you receive a supplies game card. Can I put that in my deck or what? And spirit walk. That's pretty cool. That's definitely worth what I did there. For defeating the mages in the top. Wow, that's a lot of stuff in the mages. More game cards. Mages gloves. Mages mask. Battle at book top. I think that's like the continuation of the mage quest. I guess the apprentice is also a continuation. This is interesting. We're donating food to the orphans. Really? Oh, I got a token for that, right? I got supplies, the ring of poverty, and charity two or eleven. It happened very charitable. For surviving the arenas of the town of Great Steigel, I was it pronouncing Steigel. Anyway, you receive armory jaw two. Select one to keep. The noble trader. Uh, wife's Fury and Loam. These decks have to be getting huge if I want to include all these tokens in them now. For calling the Ratman of Ratman Hunting is locked, he received the Rat Cleaver. Right, I remember that. Definitely put him out in, because I have a lot of trouble with the rats. And to defeat him for the Bandit King, I will see these new cards Feathered Ice, Life's, Life's Limb, or Life's, yeah, Life's Limb, that's right. The Jack of Scales. Oh, cool. So I think that'll be the fourth type of thing I'll be doing. Maybe it'll be a dragon. That'd be kind of cool. Heroes Remains. Stranger in Shadows. Stranger in the Shadows and Old Graveyard. They all sound so cool. 
Like, they all could be titles of their own spokes or whatever. But I think that'll be it for this session. Um, join me next time when I take on the Jack of Scales. And if you like the video or want to comment or subscribe or whatever, please feel free to do any of those things. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.